This video review is for the Market Profile Flexible Indicator by Ninza. Uh, they have a few different Market Profile Indicators. This one allows you to draw a zone on any kind of chart and it will give you the volume profile for that shaded area that you choose. As always, there is a ton of customizable options on this indicator. I pretty much just left everything just how it is out of the box. So once that indicator is attached to your chart, anytime you want to see a profile of any given area, you go up to your drawing tools and you choose the region highlight X. And I've got a 60 minute NASDAQ chart up. These gray lines on the chart are just the session daybreak lines. So for June 21st, I could draw a profile for this day to the next gray line. So this is the profile for June 21st. And what I like to do on my 60 minute chart is I like to shade the area for the previous day and then look at the point of control and sometimes the view app. So for June 22nd, if I was trading today, I would draw out the previous day's profile. I would look for the point of control. So here's the New York Open and around 10 o'clock we get this huge bullish candle to the upside. So definitely more interested in longs at this point. And if I was looking for a good spot to get in on a retracement, um, somewhere around this point of control from yesterday would be a great spot. As you can see, it came down right into that point of control, then bounced off very nicely, uh, over 100 points. So that's just one way I might use the volume profile from the previous day. Uh, often I'll have multiple days charted out here. So this is for June 22nd. I've got my point of control right in this area from yesterday. So June 23rd, uh, we can see there's some nice, nice bounces right there off of the point of control from yesterday. Nice 40 point bounce. And then when we finally get a bigger candle, bearish candle that breaks below the point of control and closes below. Uh, if you would be looking to continue the short trend and you wanted to get in on a retracement trade, uh, came right up into this point of control area again and it bounced down over a hundred points. Then later in the afternoon, uh, we see some more resistance right around that point of control from yesterday. Go ahead and draw another day's worth of volume profile here. So I'm just drawing the volume profiles out for the last few days here. So when I'm starting out a trading day, let's say we were trading on June 28th and I've got a week's worth of daily volume profiles drawn out. I can look for areas of confluence between all of these zones and I can just draw some manual support and resistance lines. So that's another way that I like to use this indicator. Um, see right here we have a couple of value area highs, uh, point of control, point of control. This is a great area to put a line in. and. If we look what happened in the future here, I mean, we get all kinds of bouncing off of this line. We got a huge bounce off of the line over here on the 28th. Uh, it held again even the next day. And we can draw a few of these lines. Uh, here we have a high, high of day, high of day, and a value area high pretty much in the same area. And then down here we had two point of controls pretty much in the same spot. 
two days in a row. So I would have a few of these lines drawn out before I would start my trading day and that would help with creating different levels of support and resistance. Uh, besides drawing daily profiles, another way I like to use this, maybe on a smaller time frame like the one minute chart. Let me zoom this in here. Uh, here's 8.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. We had a news announcement and if you were trading around the news, you can clearly see that there was a strong reaction to the upside from the news. And once you start seeing it taper off, you might wonder, well, how far is it going to retrace before I can get in with the initial reaction going higher? You can use the flexible market profile tool. There's the 8.30 news announcement. Here's the high of the move so far. So here is the VWAP and the point of control, the two areas of this move that I'd be most interested in looking at. And we can see that once it started retracing, it got right in between the VWAP and the point of control and took off to the upside again. So that's just another way you can use this market profile tool to measure strong moves after news or any kind of strong move in one direction and you're wondering how far it might retrace. Uh, this also works on Renko charts. See we had a pretty big move down right there. Pretty much straight down and then when it started retracing a bit. Uh, if you're looking to get back in short could draw another market profile zone. There's where it started dropping. And here's the low. Here's our point of control in our VWAP. And it retraced right up to the point of control and got a nice 70 point drop to the downside, bouncing off the point of control of this big downswing. There's also this toggle switch, which will turn the profiles on and off. Another way that I like to use the flexible market profile is just to capture the first 15 minutes of the market open. So here's the 930 New York open. And once I get to 945, I would want to draw a profile from 9.30 to 9.45. And then for this first 15 minutes of the market open, I can see where the point of control in the VWAP is for this first 15 minute range of the market open. And we have our point of control in our VWAP right there. So as we go about our trading day, uh, we see the market come right back up to the point of control area for this first 15 minute opening session and it bounces right off of it, comes up again and has another bounce down. You can also drag these areas and it'll show you the profile for any given area. Let's say you want to see the profile for the first hour, that's what that look, would look like. Now our point of control is up here for the first hour. Once we got up to the point of control for the first hour, we've got a lot of interest around that area, a lot of range movement right around this high volume area. I've definitely found this flexible market profile indicator very handy, whether it's drawing these daily market profiles and finding support and resistance or yesterday's point of control, or if it's a one minute chart and I'm just looking for the volume profile for a measured big up move or down move or a news announcement. It's a great tool to have and there's a lot of different ways you can use it.